Uh, and when I was young, black in this country, frankly, meant Jamaican, <laughs> you know, but it certainly meant Caribbean anyway. And it was them, it was those people who were the ones who paved the way for the black community that we know today. If it wasn't for them, there would be no black community today. They were the ones who came here and put up with the no dogs, no Irish, no blacks. They were, the, they were the ones who put up with the being spat in their face, being called end this and that. They were the ones who, who had to go on, you know, bus boycotts in Bristol in order to be able to ride on buses. They were the ones who had to put up with the, the NF, the National Front. You think the BNP is a problem. You think that um, English, sorry, British first is a problem or the, the, the UKIP is a problem now? I mean, these these parties are chicken feed, are, 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 are chaff in comparison to what the National Front was back in the day and the British movement were back in the day. The National Front had 25,000 people marching back in the 1970s. You know, you had MPs openly spouting racist, uh, you know, uh, racist propaganda in the 1950s and 1960s. You had the police just blatantly, I mean, they're bad now, but back in them days, they were blatantly beating up black people, bundling them in the back of the van and so forth. You know, they faced... Uh, you know, incredible obstacles, and they overcame those incredible obstacles. For example, did you know that the first uh, credit union, I think it's the first credit union in the in Britain, was set up by Black Caribbean people. They, you know, set up the the Not in Ill Carnival. They're the ones who set up spaces. They're the ones Brixton. You talk about someone like a Brixton. They're the ones who kind of colonized Brixton and turned it into a into a haven for Black people. You know, and different areas around the, the country. We're talking about, you know, parents and grandparents, people who were like who were in their 80s now, you know, it faced all this kind of crap when they first came here. I mean, talk about the Windrush scandal. You know, you got you got old age pensioners who are being thrown out of the country, you know, dying, dying, you know, depressed because they thought here they had a home. Actually, it turned out that the government over many you know generations had been shafting them. They've had to fight and they've had to struggle. Their fight and their struggle was, you know, was was very intense back in the day. The the negative outcomes that Black Caribbeans are facing now, I think, are, are a product of their experience of those the racism that they faced, of that they have faced over the last fifty years and counting.